Hi right, guys, what's going on? Another video, another benchmark. Um, just going to do the quick heaven benchmark test um, with my new graphics card. So I'm just going to film that basically. I've got it on uh, obviously DX11 stereo 3D. Obviously, I'm not running it in 3D. Shaders on high, tessellation on extreme. Uh, Anstrobic filtering is on 16. Anti aliasing is on 8, which is the highest it can go. Uh, full resolution at 1080p. Now, we know that uh, the Heaven benchmark seems to favour the AMD cards rather than the NVIDIA cards, just some benchmarks prefer um, sort of 3D mark advantage. Or there, there's some other tests that some favour the, the NVIDIA, some things seem to run better on NVIDIA cards, other seems, things seem to run better on the AMD. So anyway, this one is what favours the AMD cards. As you know, the Twin Frozer is, uh, is using, well, it's a MSI, PCB, but the chip is actually NVIDIA. Anyways, so I'm going to run this. I've got everything maxed out, so obviously it's really, really going to put this uh, put this graphics card under the uh, under the gun. I've got Fraps running. Hopefully, you can see that in the uh, in the top left. It might not come up too good on the um, on the screen, so you have to take my word for it for what what readings we're getting. I'm going to go. So F9 is run a benchmark. So I'll just wait for this to load up, and then we'll run a benchmark. So, hold on. Right, benchmark. So this is the actual benchmark test now. As you can see, I've got I've got fraps going. So currently, not even at 20 frames a second. Uh, I can see that it's a little bit jaggedy. Uh, in the top right, you probably can't even see, but it actually says there's a frame rate up there as well. But I thought I'd run fraps because it would show better on the screen and on the camera. So, so far in the bottom right, it's saying 22, well, 22 frames, 23 frames a second. The lowest has been 8.1, which is pretty bad, which I think is that bit at the beginning. Obviously, with all the cobblestones and everything. Um, and we've had a maximum of just under 49 frames a second. We think we're sitting at a, a stable 22, 23 frames a second, which is just about playable, but considering I've got this on the maximum, maximum tutti fruity settings, which is probably what you'd set for a, a GTX 580 or a, um, uh, a 590, which is a dual card, I think it's actually holding up pretty well. I know a lot of people say about how fast you know you can see, people can't see, you know, the human eye can't see more than 23 frames a second or this, that and the other in films. I don't know. You just uh, when you're watching a movie, obviously there can be a frame where there is actual movement. With a with a gaming, what you're effectively looking at is a load of static images all linked together. Um, so there we go. Look, dropping down to 16, 17 frames a second. I can see she's kind of stuttering a little bit. That looks a bit better. Still at 19 frames a second. I have overclocked this card. It's ever so slightly, it's barely even what you could call an overclock. I've probably taken the reference CPU. Actually, I'm just going to move the cursor right out of the way. I've just noticed it's right in the way. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. But never mind, I dare say it'll come back to me. So I'll probably maybe do a, a 3D, 3D Mark 11 benchmark test as well, do another video of that. Oh, that's what I was talking about, I was talking about my overclock. I think the reference card runs at 770 megahertz or something, so I've taken it up to about 805 and probably added about 5% to the other the other settings, the memory clock and the shader clock and everything. I know I can go a lot, lot higher, I haven't really had time to fiddle around with it. So I'll see what I can do. And maybe do another video with this when I've got it overclocked to what I think is stable or the best clock I can find and see. Maybe do this and compare it to another video. Yeah, I might, I might actually label this one up as stock clocks. And then we could do another one on um, normal clocks. Uh, on Sorry, on normal clocks. On uh, overclocked. So now we're getting... In the mid 40s, obviously it's dropping down when things get moving a little bit more. Still in the, well, it's kind of declining now. We went to 
seems to do okay with the lighting and stuff like that. I think it's probably just them cobblestones, all that, all the tessellation. So still hovering in the mid twenties, which I suppose is pretty good. It's what's deemed as as playable. And as I said, I've got this on the absolute maximum settings you can put it on. So I'm really putting this card under the gun. It does look cool, this. So maximum frame rate has been 60.8. Uh, the minimum has still been 8.1. I think B-Sync is off as well. Not that that would probably make any difference. He's getting no, nowhere near. So that's about it. Hopefully the results will come up in a second. There we go. So I've got 634. I don't know if that's good or bad. Minimum frame rate was 8.1. Maximum was 60. As you can see, I'm running 64-bit Windows 7. Still got the uh, Core i7 920. It's saying it's at 2.6 gigs, but I've actually... Oh, well, you can actually see. Well, you probably might not be able to see. I've got it at just under 4 So, yeah, not bad. I don't, know, I don't know if that's good or bad, but maybe I'll do a little bit of overclocking and uh, and see what else we can uh, what else we can pull out of this thing. So, thanks for watching. Just another boring video, but hope you enjoyed it, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.